I first heard of Saf al-Muluk through a Kuali sung by Nasrat Fazi Ali Khan. Um, after some research, I fell in love with a poem that inspired the story. There were many themes in the poem that resonated with me personally. I was born in Jhelum, the same city as the Sufi saint. Mia Muhammad Baksh, who wrote the poem over 150 years ago, was born in. And ultimately, the poem is a love story, but also a story of struggle and sacrifice. I wanted to do this in situ, similar to some of the projects that I've done in the past. But I felt the song itself was locked away from a wider audience, unfamiliar with the language and origin. This needed to be reimagined and contemporized through a collaboration. I wanted to work with a musician because the first contact I had with the poem was through song. The collaboration with the musician, aware of the rich tradition and sounds of the region. The sarod is an Indian classical instrument. It's got a rich, deep, resonant tone. But actually, if you look at the history of the instrument, you can trace it back to these parts of South Asia, to Afghanistan and northern Pakistan. And it's a bit like this place, utterly beautiful. My paintings were done in different locations in and around the lake. Um, and at each situ painting, I tried to do a composition of simple palette of colors that connected with the majestic settings of the lake. It was also great when I managed to involve some of the locals uh, in the preparation of, and in one case, helping with the painting. So when Nasser told me about Saiful Maluk, uh, I think the first thing that struck me was that this was a story that had its origins in Sufi history, Sufi mythology. And here was a real place attached to that. Uh, and he said it's quite difficult to get to, but I think I was quite sold on the idea right then. The poem on the surface can be interpreted as a fable or a fairy tale, uh, but it's much more than that when you peel the layers. Most poignant of all is a poet as an artist uh, who I feel is searching for a personal creative fulfillment, a journey of soul in search of divine reality, which goes through a series of trials how he's trying to get his audience to appreciate that as a social message. It is a progressive story, um, I guess as relevant today as it was when it was first written. So you've really got to picture this. We're 10,500 feet up above sea level, we're in the mountains, we've, we've gone up this dirt track to get there, which is pretty dangerous in itself. On one side of the mountain is Pakistan, on the other is India, and you know, in, in between is one of the world's most dangerous borders. And here we are, you know, a, originally a Pakistani painter, and I'm an Indian musician, and we're trying to make sense of this tension all the way up there through our art and music. So I'm excited to see how that manifests.